Hello guys, this is Rich Rich TV and welcome back to my channel Little Girl Start the Devotional guys. I'd like to shout out to all the prisoner channel na punta rito at nang join sa devotional natin the other night. Shout and God bless to and God bless to Yans TV, Gandang Psyche, Bon Anthony, Balmoria, Laura Casiano, Dia Lakdag, Rain Visto, Scarlett na Elga, Rizem Don Garcia, Pamilya Lagan Channel, Debs Villa. Heart on Salad. God bless us all. Guys, kumusta po tayong lahat? Sana everything is uh, well, no? Sa mga trabaho natin, sa buhay natin, sa pamilya natin, no? Kaya, if we are experiencing something wrong, then chat me or text me or uh, share your prayer items so I can pray for you. Okay, guys, let's not proceed to our devotion now. Let's open our Bible to Numbers. Chapter 32, verses 16 to 24. Still, guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words you see here is so simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. Okay? So, Numbers, chapter 32, verses 16 to 24, says, Then they come to him and said, We would like to build pens here for our livestock and cities for our women and children. But we are ready to arm ourselves and go ahead of the Israelites until we have brought them to their place. Meanwhile, our women and children will live in the fortified cities for protection from the inhabitants of the land. We will not return to our homes until every Israelite has received his inheritance. We will not receive an inheritance with them on the other side of the Jordan because our inheritance has come to us on the east side of the Jordan. Then Moses said to them, If you will do this, if you will arm yourself before the Lord for battle, and if all of you will go arm over the Jordan before the Lord until he has driven his enemies hard before him, then when the land is uh, subdued before the Lord, you will may, you may return and be free from your obligation to the Lord and to Israel, and this land will be your position before the Lord. But if you fail to do this, you will be sinning against the Lord, and you may be sure that your sin will find you out. Build cities for your women and children, and pens for your flocks, for, but, do not, but do what you have promised. Amen and amen. But guys, let's not pray. Yes, Father God, uh, we claim for our inheritance here on earth, O oh God. While we're still here on earth, we long to have material things, O Lord God, na, na claim namin as our inheritance here on earth. Lord, we pray na we'll really go with you as our inheritance in your heaven, O oh God. Marami kami promise sa sarili namin, O oh God, but yet we... Many times fail, kano man yung mga sinasabi namin, Lord God. Probably we're just so overwhelmed of our relationship with you, our promise with you, especially that uh, we are in a problem, O oh God, and we are in the joy also of happiness. That's why, Lord, I pray to please forgive us, O oh God, that we may not sin against you. Yes, Lord, take full control of our life, na hindi kami makasala, O oh God. Sabi ng Bible, O God, na ang sin is uh, the one who will pull us down, O God. That's why, Lord, we pray, do not condemn us, O God. We rebuke the condemnation made by the enemy. But instead, forgive us, O Lord, from all those unrighteousness na nagawa namin sa iyo. Make us pure with you, O God, so we could get the inheritance we have from you. Lord, thank you that you are there listening unto us. Bless every one and dito ngayon, O God, nakikinig. Praying and hoping that they will really 
Listen till the end so we can grasp so we get kung ano yung gusto mong iparinig sa amin namin. That you will not just take pictures, screenshot, and send it to the GC, but instead, the most important thing is to really listen on your word. Bless each one of us, so God, as we move on. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in Numbers chapter 32, verse 23. And it says, You may be sure that your sin will find you out. Amen. Lord, help us. So, the title for devotion for this evening, guys, is The One Who Seals. Oh, no. My wife voice rang out when she stepped into the kitchen. The moment she did, our 90-pound Labrador Retriever Max bolted from the room. Gun was the leg of lamb that had been sitting too close to the edge of the counter. Max had consumed it, leaving only an empty pan. He tried to hide under a bed, but only his head and shoulder fit. His uncovered rump and tail betrayed his whereabouts when I went to trap him down. Oh, Max, I murmured. Your sin will find you out. <laughs> the praise was borrowed from Moses when he admonished two tribes of Israel to be obedient to God and keep their promises. He told them, but if you fail to do this, you will be sinning against the Lord, and you may be sure that your sin will find you out. Sabi nga ng Numbers 32 verse 23. Sin may feel good for a moment, but it causes the ultimate pain of separation from God. Moses was reminding his people that God misses nothing. As one biblical writer put, everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom he must give account. Though seeing all, our holy God lovingly draws us to confess our sins, repent of it, turn from it, and walk rightly with him. In 1 John 1, 9, may we follow Him in love today. Yes, guys, no, may mga sin tayo na nagawa na no matter how much we hide it, uh, hindi ito nakakawala kay Lord. Kitang-kita ni Lord talaga yung mga ginagawa natin. Nothing is hidden from God. No? Yes, uh, guilt is there after we committed sin. That's why... If we confess our sin, He is faithful and just to forgive us from all our unrighteousness. No. Yes, nobody is exempted from sin. We all sin every day. Uh, whatever sin it is, the most important thing is we have to confess it to God. No. Para maklili tayo. We will not suffer from the condemnation made by the enemy. Let's free ourselves. Kaya, let's go closer to God. No. Kasi alam ko marami ang nag struggle dyan. No? Kaya we really need to keep praying. Kaya chat me, text me, or ano, uh, sa chat box, no? or a live chat natin. Share me your word. Share me your problem. Share me your struggle so I can pray for you. No? Gaya ng isang leader namin sa isang community during our church service kahapon, Nag-chat sa akin, please pray for me. Yes, my friend, say I'm praying for you. Okay guys, let's now proceed to the two question. How does the truth that God sees everything we do and still loves us encourage you to turn from sin? Yes, all the more, no? Kasi wala tayong kawala, nakikita talaga ni Lord yung mga ginagawa natin. That's why we really need to keep our soul away from sin. Kasi wala tayo kawala. Kitang-kita ni Lord ano yung ginagawa natin. Even if we cover ourselves, gaya ng Labrador, no? Na kumain ng, ano, ng ulam. So, no matter he hide, ulo niya lang nakatago. Mabuntot niya, nakita din, no? Kaya ganyan tayo. No matter how much we hide ourselves from God, kitang-kita pa rin tayo ni Lord. Second question, in what practical ways can you respond to His love today? By asking forgiveness, kung ano man yung nagawa natin. Because God is love. Amen and amen. I guess let's now proceed to our prayer. 
Thank you for being the God who sees us. I praise you that though you see both good and bad, you send your son to save and set us free. Help us to walk in loving obedience with you. Yes, Lord, forgive us. In this name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay guys, sana na-bless tayo sa devotional natin. Nagaling magpunta rito, manoon, makinig, no? Sa devotional ng Ritz TV. Hindi lang to devotional ng Ritz TV, but para sa ating lahat. God bless us all guys, because I know God surely bless us 10 times better. This is again Ritz TV. Kita-kita kita kita tayo magandang sa muli. Paalam! Thank you.